All right, today is June 28th. I'm here in Chandler, Arizona. This is uh, my latest acquisition. It is a three bedroom, two bathroom house uh, in a great area. Uh, has a swimming pool. And uh, my intentions are to remodel this home and uh, sell it on the retail market. So here we go with the front entry room here. They had an interesting choice for the color of carpet in my opinion. Uh, you can see where they painted and uh, just kind of went right around the entertainment center that was there. So it's interesting, but uh, there's some real nice light fixtures in here. You can see that's definitely going to stay. Uh, we'll do all new trim and baseboards in here and paint and texture where we need. Uh, there's a nice little carve out here. Uh, we might put something creative in there to jazz it up a little bit. And uh, this is the laundry room area. You can see uh, it's not a huge laundry room, but it's everything you need. It has a nice shelf. Uh, two car garage, which is definitely something that we uh, look for. Kind of hard to see, but anyway, it's just an empty garage. Come into uh, the bedrooms here. fans are on a remote there but anyway you can see here's bedroom number one looks like they had a, was a little girls room previously Layla I'm assuming and then here's another bedroom again just basic bedrooms they're not huge but they're not tiny little 10 by 10s either I would say they're about 12 by 12 which is a real average size bedroom for around here here is the bathroom Vanity's pretty good. We may put a new top on there. Uh, I have a couple of rough estimates on my uh, repair cost estimate. Uh, one is for you know real high end, and one is for uh, kind of middle of the road. And I'm still actually going to meet with uh, Eric, my contractor, today uh, and tomorrow. We're really going to drill down on this thing and. Uh, one of the things I need to do also is visit some more of the homes that are on the market here to see what the competition is. But anyway, here's the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen is a nice layout with the island. Uh, we'll remove this and put some granite in. Looks like we have half of a stainless steel appliance package. So uh, for a home that's going to be as nice as this one, what I'll probably do is take those out, take them over to a rental property that I have and uh, probably purchase all new appliances for this one just because again, nice house, nice area. Uh, Want to have new appliances. So here's uh, some extra storage, linen closet. People always like storage. You guys always hear me talking about that. And here's the master. Uh, it's nice that they have the uh, double doors that swing open. Uh, also good size master. Uh, some of the fixtures and stuff we're going to be able to, to keep. Uh, there's blinds already, although I'll probably do away with these. They're dated, a little ugly. Um, so, here's the other view of the master, and then we'll come into the master bathroom. One of the things I've really been trying to do recently <clears throat> is I love his and her sinks in the master, and also having a separate shower from tub really makes a difference as well. So that's something that I've been trying to get on all of my properties recently. And then it's nice when the commode is an independent room with a door. Uh, I know at my house when I'm in the bathroom and my wife's doing her makeup, it's just nice to have some separation there. So here's the master closet. It's pretty good size actually. Uh, Walk-in closet looks like this they removed a piece of carpet here where I believe they had a safe so anyway uh, We'll go take a look outside because there is a swimming pool in this house and uh, well, in the backyard that is And there's some challenges there that need to be addressed. So let's take a look at those and then this is the main living room uh, You can see it's it's a good size living room it does have a fireplace which it's kind of ironic today. The forecast is for 116 degrees, so I don't think we'll be using that anytime soon. <laughs> and here's the backyard. So it's already landscaped. 
Uh, we have a green pool, which again, it's been sitting vacant for quite some time. Uh, the pool motor is not functional and so it hasn't been able to circulate any chemical or any chlorine. So we're going to address that here shortly. We're going to drain it, acid wash it, uh, you know, possibly patch some plaster. I don't really know exactly what's underneath there, but this house isn't too old. And uh, I don't think that we're going to have to do anything major other than just, uh, you know, patch repair and that sort of thing. So anyway, here's the side. There's the pool equipment, side yard, and uh, I'm supposed to close on this. What's today? The 28th. I'm supposed to close on the 30th. So we'll uh, be, ta be starting this up first part of the week and uh, probably be a four-week rehab and we'll get it right on the market. Uh, should be a good one. Stay tuned for updates.